low FPS or stutters in CS2? Watch this. I'll show you the best NVIDIA inspector settings to boost FPS, fix lag, and make your gameplay buttery smooth, all in just a few seconds. Step 1. Set CS2 to high performance in the very first step. Open Steam and right click on Counter. Strike 2, then select Manage and browse local files to locate the CS2 ESHA file. Next open Windows settings, then go to System Display Graphics and click on Browse under Add and App, Find and Select the CS2 ESHA file you just located, and click Add. When CS2 appears in the app list, click on it, choose Options. Select High Performance, which uses your dedicated GPU, and click Save. This will ensure Windows. Always run CS2 using the most powerful graphics processor, available giving you smoother gameplay, and higher FPS after saving launch CS2, and Enjoy improved performance and reduced lag. Frustrated with lag and high ping? Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag-free gameplay in seconds. Step 2. Disable full screen optimizations for CS2 by Steam 2 Disable. Full screen optimizations for CS2 through Steam. First open Steam and go to your library, then right click on Counter-Strike 2. From the menu, Select Manage and then browse local files to open the game's installation folder. In this folder, locate the cs2.exe file, right click on it, and choose Properties. In the Properties window, open the Compatibility tab and check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. After that, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Once done, you can relaunch CS2 to test the difference. Disabling full screen optimizations often reduces micro stutters and makes the game run more smoothly. Step 3. Use Park Control to boost CS2 performance. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. To optimize CS2 performance using Park Control. Open the program and run it as administrator so the changes apply. Once it opens, Select your active power plan from the drop-down menu, preferably your gaming plan or the Bitsum highest performance plan. Next, disable CPU core parking by setting the parking value to disabled, which keeps all CPU cores active for smoother and more responsive gameplay. You can also turn off frequency scaling. To prevent your CPU from lowering its speed while playing CS2, if your system uses a hybrid, CPU with performance and efficiency cores. Set the heterogeneous policy to standard parking to ensure the game uses the high performance cores. After adjusting these settings, click apply and make sure the modified power plan is active. Then launch CS2 and test your before and after FPS to see the improved stability, reduced stutters, and overall better performance. Step 4. NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away to boost FPS and fix lag in CS2. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and select the CSGO2.exe CS2.exe profile so your changes only affect the game. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance to keep your GPU running at full speed and enable threaded optimization to on for better multi-core CPU usage. Change maximum pre-rendered frames to 1 and turn on ultra low latency mode for faster input response. Disable vertical sync and set tier control to off unless you use G-Sync, which should be set to full screen only. Then under texture filtering, quality, choose high performance and turn off all anti-aliasing options including FXAA to maximize FPS. Also, disable triple buffering and ambient occlusion, and make sure shader cache is on to reduce stutter. Don't use the in-driver FPS limiter, use RTSs or Steam's limiter instead. After applying the changes, benchmark your FPS using net underscore graph one or the Steam overlay. You'll see smoother performance, lower input lag, and higher frame stability. Combine these tweaks with updated drivers, low in-game shadows, and background app cleanup for the best results. Step 5. 
CS2 High Low Priority Registry files. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away to apply and use the CS2 High or Low Priority Registry files. Start by opening the folder where both .reg files are saved. You'll see two options, one for high priority, which boosts performance, and one for low priority, which restores default settings. Right-click on the file you want to use and select Run as Administrator. This step is important because registry edits require admin permissions to apply changes properly. When the Windows prompt appears, click Yes to allow the file to make changes, and then confirm again to merge the settings into your system registry. Once the process completes, restart your PC to ensure the new priority settings take effect for CS2. After rebooting, launch CS2 and open the FPS counter with net underscore graph 1 to check performance. Step 6. CS2 in game settings to increase FPS in CS2 on a low-end PC. Start by setting the display mode to full screen and lowering the resolution to 1280 by 720 or 1600 by 900 for better performance. Choose the low or very low graphics preset, then set texture, model, and shader detail to low. Turn off anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, reflections, and post-processing to remove extra visual effects that strain your GPU. Keep shadow, quality, and particle detail set to low or off for smoother frames. Enable multi-threaded rendering so the game uses all CPU cores efficiently, and optionally limit your FPS to a stable value for the consistent gameplay after applying these changes. Restart CS2 and compare your FPS before and after. You'll notice a significant boost in performance, smoother aiming, and fewer stutters during matches. Now you've seen how these CS2 settings can boost your FPS and smooth out gameplay, try them yourself, and drop your results in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more FPS boost guides.